NAD+, often referred to as the molecule of youth, plays a central role in cellular energy metabolism and DNA repair. Recently, intravenous NAD plus infusions have gained popularity in wellness clinics, promoted as treatments to restore energy, improve vitality, and slow aspects of aging. The key question, however, is what current scientific evidence truly supports. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD plus, is a fundamental coenzyme found in virtually all cells. It is essential for mitochondrial ATP generation, supports DNA repair by serving as a substrate for poly-ADP ribose polymerase enzymes, and regulates cellular homeostasis through activation of sirtuins, longevity-associated proteins that control metabolism, stress responses, and circadian rhythm. The central challenge is the progressive decline of NAD plus levels with advancing age. This reduction contributes to impaired mitochondrial function, decreased genomic stability, and increased susceptibility to metabolic disorders and neurodegenerative diseases. In preclinical models, supplementation with NAD plus precursors such as nicotinamide riboside or NR and nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN has demonstrated improvements in vascular function, enhanced mood protection, and greater metabolic resilience. These effects are mechanistically associated with increased mitochondrial biogenesis, improved stem cell function, and attenuation of age-related inflammatory pathways. In humans, early phase clinical trials of NR and NMN have reported modest yet encouraging outcomes, including improvements in insulin sensitivity, skeletal muscle mitochondrial activity, fatigue reduction, and favorable alterations in lipid metabolism. Importantly, oral administration of these precursors have been generally well tolerated. In contrast, intravenous NAD plus infusions remain insufficiently evaluated in controlled clinical trials. Although intravenous administration can transiently elevate circulating NAD plus levels, there is no evidence to suggest superior or sustained benefits over oral precursors. Furthermore, potential risks include venous irritation, electrolyte disturbances, infection, and substantial financial costs without demonstrated long-term efficacy. The biological rationale for restoring NAD plus is well established. However, intravenous NAD plus infusions are costly, lack robust clinical validation, and carry procedural risks. For now, oral precursors such as NR and NMN represent safer and more evidence-supported alternatives. Intravenous infusions are not required to support the NAD plus system, especially given the limited scientific evidence for IV administration. Regular physical exercise naturally upregulates NAMPT, a key enzyme in the NAD plus salvage pathway. Time-restricted eating and fasting enhance sirtuin activity and promote metabolic efficacy. In addition, a diet rich in polyphenols such as the sprout troll from red grapes, quercetin from onions and apples, and epicatechins from green tea and cacao work synergistically with NAD plus metabolism. Collectively, these approaches are safe, accessible, and supported by substantially stronger evidence than costly infusions.